Hi, I'm Doug. We receive many questions regarding the process of updating our SAS panel or small analog panel firmware. During this video, we will show you the steps needed to update the panel firmware. When the SAETH card is installed in the panel, after you connect your CAT5 or CAT6 cable from your computer to the panel, you need to assign a static IP address to your computer. Do this by selecting the local area network icon in the lower right corner of the Windows tray as shown here. Select the option to open the Network and Sharing Center. Once your Network and Sharing Center screen is open, select the local area connection link. This will open the window for your local area connection status. Select the Properties button. In the Local Area Connection Properties window, select the option for TCP IPv4. You can double click this option in the list to open up the properties or highlight it in the list and then select the properties button. This will open the properties window for the TCP IPv4 properties. Select the option for use the following IP address. Click in the IP address field to begin entering an acceptable IP address. The panel's default IP address is 192.168.1.3. Entering your IP address for the computer in this field, the first three octets need to match the panel, so type 192, 168, and the number 1. The last octet can be the number 2 or any number up to 255 with the exception of 1 or 3 since 1 is for a router and 3 is what the panel's default IP address is. Once you've input your IP address for your computer, click in the subnet field. The subnet will populate as 255.255.255.255. .255 .255. 0. Once you've set your IP address for your computer and you've populated the subnet field, we do not need to change any other fields within this properties box. So at this point you can close out of the properties window. You can simply select close to close the previous property windows. Again, now that we have the IP address set for your computer, we can now launch the configuration utility software. Open the software by inputting your username and passcode to launch the software. Select project from the toolbar to open your list of projects. Select the project name from a list of previously saved projects, or if this is the first time you will be reading the database from this panel, create a new project. Select the Open Project button. Selecting the Panel 1 prompt at the top of the list will open up the Panel Properties window. To set up communications to the panel, click the Communications tab. Because we're using the SAETH card, we need to change our communication protocol to be TCP IP. You will then select the Read from Panel option on the Communications window. Select Yes to connect to the panel. This will open up a communication status window. After the data has completed being read from the panel, select OK to close the communications window. Because we want to work with the data we have just pulled out of the panel, select Yes at the Overwrite CU Data with Panel Data option. To see the current revision of firmware running in the panel, open up the Panel Properties window as shown here and you will see the current level of firmware. In our example, you can see that our panel is currently running revision 2.3 firmware. You can also determine what version of firmware is running in your panel from the front menu. In order to achieve this, you'll press the menu button, then select reports, scroll down to system configuration, select all, 
select LCD, push the down arrow four or five times until you see the version field populate as shown here. This will be your current panel's firmware. Panel firmware can also be retrieved when using the field update utility software. To retrieve the panel firmware after you open up the field update utility software and you're connected to your panel, select the retrieve panel firmware version button. After the read is complete, the software will show your panel's firmware revision in the window. If you need to download the field update utility software or the panel firmware file, log into the MyEdy website, then select software in the media type drop down menu. The software list will open and will be in alphabetical order. Scroll down the list to locate the FUU or the Field Update Utility software and select Download to begin downloading the software. Immediately below the FUU software is the link to download the panel firmware file. Select the file and download to begin downloading the zipped folder for the panel firmware. For our example, we've decided to download the firmware file to our desktop to make it easy to locate. As you can see, the file that we have downloaded from the MyEdy website is a zipped folder. Open the zipped folder to find the image.bin file, which is the actual panel firmware file that the field update utility software is looking for. Drag this image.bin file out of the zipped folder and onto your desktop to make it easy to find. As you can see, we've now drug the image.bin file out of the zipped folder and onto the desktop. In the field update utility software, select the browse button and then browse to the location in which you've saved the image.bin file. For our example, we are using our desktop. Simply double click on the file or select the file and then click the open button. As you can see, we have a valid file path in the FUU which shows the location of our image.bin file. Also now, you have a backup plan window which will open instructing you to make sure that you have a backup of the current database residing in the panel before you begin to update the panel firmware. To close the backup reminder window, simply click the OK button. This will bring up the actual steps you need to take in order to update the panel firmware. To place the panel in firmware update mode, Press Menu, then select Program, then select Firmware Update. Under the Firmware Update option, select Initiate, and then enter a Level 2 password. Remember, if you're connecting to the panel with an SA232 card, you will also need to enable the 232 port. Now that we have the panel in Firmware Update mode, return to your computer and click the OK button to close the firmware update steps window and begin the update process. Select Write to Panel to begin the firmware update transfer. Once the Write to Panel starts, check the communication status window to monitor the update progress. When the update has completed, you will get a confirmation window indicating that the Write to Panel has completed as shown here. Select OK to close the confirmation window, then select Close to close the communication status window. If you want to confirm that the panel firmware has been updated, you can select the Retrieve Panel Firmware Version button. For our example, you can see that our panel now indicates that it is running 2.31 firmware. 
At this point, you can close the field update utility software. You will need to return to your configuration utility and re-download the project database into the panel. As we mentioned before, updating the panel firmware will remove the database from the panel. So it is important after you update the firmware to re-download your project database into the panel. This wraps up our how to update SAS or small analog panel firmware video. If you'd like more information, please visit our website, kita-fire.com, or return to our YouTube site using the link below where you can view some additional product videos.